How's it going, everybody? Brian Alvarez and Dave Meltzer here, Wrestling Observer Radio. It is June 14, 2022, figure4online.com slash wrestlingobserver.com. We've got a lot of news to get into here today. And uh, not all of it good, Jeff Hardy arrested DUI third in uh, 10 years. Third, and third, third in three years. Four third, years. Third, third in four years. Three years. This is not good. Over three times the legal limit. Oh, jeez. That was, yeah, almost four times the legal limit, yeah. I mean, <clears throat> there's a lot of questions here, and, and you know, I mean, it's a broken record. You know, it's the same situation with Tammy Sitch that we talked about. It's like at some point, um, you know, when you, when your license is already suspended and you've had warnings and you're still driving at this level, and, I mean, this is .29, this is like, that's one of the, that's point two nine four. Point two nine four. It's so re, you know. It's like there's, you know, even if you have a problem with drinking, you can get an Uber. You know what I mean? You you can do something, and and, you know, again, it's like he, you know, I mean, nobody got. Thankfully, nobody got hurt, but I mean, he was driving erratically, and and. You know that's rolling the dice bad when you're driving in that situ in that kind of a condition. That's rolling the dice bad, and it's not like again three times in four years. And God knows if if we know of three times in four years, how many do you, you know? How many times is it really? Because you know probably what five percent at most are the time you're getting arrested doing that. So it's very um, and. You know, it's just it's just a really really sad situation as far as like what's going on next. I mean, um, AW did call, uh, you know, Warner Media and told them to basically remove Jeff Hardy from all advertising and things like that. Uh, they have not made a statement. They've had all day to make a statement. Have not made a statement. I think it's not good that they haven't made a statement. They pulled the advertising from the ladder match so we don't know if they're going to do a two-team ladder match if they're going to throw the match out um we don't know right now um tr as far as triple mania goes i know right now there's nothing that we can report substan sub substantively about it because there's nothing confirmed i mean what's uh, they, they, you know, it was going to be the Hardys against Dragon Lee and Drillistico was the main event, which was Sunday and Saturday in Tijuana, and they want to keep Matt Hardy in the match, and they would like to get another partner, you know, for him. And right now, um, as of right now, there is not that guy. So they're going to work on that, and hopefully, you know, they'll find the guy and uh, they'll be able to make a deal. Um, I know there's a bunch of guys they've asked for. Things haven't happened yet. Um, it's hard on late notice to get guys to go to Tijuana, uh, but uh, that's a, that's a, another situation. But as far as Jeff goes, I mean, obviously, you know, he 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 needs to go to rehab, uh, which we but but you know, again, it, it's like that's good. sometimes this feels like a broken record when you have so many of these situations and and. There's a track record when, you know, I mean, it's gone back, you know, over a decade, long over a decade. Um, you know, Jeff will, you know, the, the thing with Jeff is he's a really nice guy. And because of that, people want to think the best of him. But it keeps happening. And, you know, he, he goes somewhere and something happens and they let him go. Or sometimes he quits over, over situations and goes to another company and then something happens and then the company you know it's like he goes wwe to tna to wwe to you know what i mean back and forth um you know as soon as one company gets rid of him there's going to be another company that signs him and and if AEW was to get rid of him um i don't know wwe would sign him right now but somebody would um it's just because it always happens that way and I would like to think that after his departure from WWE and then what happened shortly after signing with AEW, they would not be jumping at the opportunity to bring him back right about now. No, they wouldn't bring him back now, but in a year? 
Um, I mean, maybe and maybe they wouldn't. Maybe this would be the straw that broke, broke the camel's back. But I thought that that was happening a long time ago. Um, you know, he's always been brought back. And I mean, look, the the situation with WWE, right? They got rid of him. He wouldn't go to rehab. And then how much? How long did it take for them to call him and want to bring him back and put him in the Hall of Fame to get him to go, not go not go go to AEW? I mean, what was it? That was it was less than three months because it was ninety day non compete, right? So it was probably two months in, maybe six weeks in. And they called him up and wanted him back. So, I mean, a lot of people are trying to do this, you know, moral ground. Ah, WWE got rid of him. It's like, they wanted him back, you know. I mean, he was he was mad at WWE, so he went to AEW. Um, AEW obviously can't use him. And, uh, I mean, there's, there's also another situation here, and that is like, I mean, that match that he did with Darby Allin, and again, I'm, I don't. I'm not trying to tie that necessarily into this because this obviously is something that's dated back. This problem has dated back to him for a long, long time. And the Darby Allen match was only a couple of weeks ago, but that match with Darby Allen was so insane for him in his physical condition to be doing that match. And then he came back, and they, you know, he had the pay per view match with uh, the Young Bucks, and he did not look good in that match at all, even though the match itself was great. Um, he was very, um, he was just hurting bad. I mean, he was really hurting. <laughs> he was really hurting bad. And then he was being put in a ladder match this week. And I just saw that. And it was just like <clears throat> knowing, knowing his mentality, um, of what he would do in a ladder match, the standards of a ladder match. I mean, it was a scary proposition and, and, you know, it took this to get him out of the ladder match, but he was, and in the young bucks match, he was knocked out. I mean, he didn't remember the match. So, and that's only two weeks ago. You come back from that. It's just a lot of, um, you know, I mean, again, that, that, that doesn't necessarily excuse. I mean, that doesn't necessarily lead to this. You know, this is not, um, but, you know, like, again, all that pain, does it lead to, all that pain, does it lead to drinking? Yes, it does. Um, um, but as far as, like, even if he's drinking a lot, the driving, the, the idea that he went out and drove, I mean, that one's the one that's unforgivable. And I mean, and, and, and the one thing I will say is I have not seen anyone, you know, do the Jeff Hardy sympathy thing, uh, today. Um, you can't and nobody has. I mean, I think it's been pretty consistent. Almost everything I've read. It's just, they're sad for him, but they realize that, uh, you know, he needs help and he needs help bad. And, um, um, that's that's pretty much it. You know, I cannot imagine that that he would be wrestling anytime soon. Um, and um, he, you know, he needs the rest. But I mean, my God, though, I mean, it's like they also that you've got to protect the public from guys like this. I mean, if you've got this kind of bad judgment, and I, I don't, and that I don't understand. I know that like if you have uh, you know alcohol problems and everything, and I, I get that. I get that. It's a hard thing to break. He's in a lot of pain, um, you know, and all that. But that's not an excuse to drive. And, um, you know, that's that's the that's the basic situation there. I mean, that's just un it's unforgivable because you're putting everyone on that road at risk when you're driving in a situation. I mean, he's veering from lane to lane, veering off the road. The police stopped him. And they had a hard time stopping him because he had a hard time stopping safely. And he could barely stand. He was completely intoxicated, obviously, 0.29. Um, so there you go. Um, it's taking so long for AEW to make an announcement about this. I don't know. I presume I mean, they, I mean, I can't say they, ha I mean, they have to, but I mean, it's like we've seen with Jimmy Uso, I mean, WWE made no announcement. They did nothing, but they should have. Well, but, okay, but, uh, I mean, Jimmy, they absolutely I, should have. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, there's always there's, there's legal things and everything like that, but they should have made an announcement that that he was suspended. Um, you know, pretty early today. I mean, that much they could have done, um, and they should have made an announcement. Look, look, they should have made an announcement on what what they're doing Wednesday night. Um, and I mean that's that's different because usually when something happens that that influences a match, they're usually really good, unlike a lot of other companies, at making that announcement pretty quickly. You know, if if if, if someone who's booked on television, like if they're, if they're not booked on TV, we don't really hear. You know, um, if somebody's injured and they're not booked on TV, we really like you kind of hear that they're injured, but the company never will say anything. But this case is different. Number one, it's a national news story. Um, 
And for that reason, they should make an announcement. Number two, they got the TV show Wednesday night, and whatever the decision is, um, they should go in there and say, look, this is we're going to do straight tag ladder match or we're going to do whatever we're going to do. What are we going to do? And we don't know what they're going to do. And, and, and that's kind of where it stands right now. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week, you can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.